Manchester United have just won the Manchester derby. And what's more, it was a comeback win as well. Coming into this game against Man City, Luis, there were so many questions. How far had they come since that 6-3 loss? Could they continue this form? Would Man City be more dangerous after that cup exit to Southampton? The questions just so many and so numerous coming into this clash. So many questions. Rounding up to the most important one, K. Murray, which is about Eric Ten Hag without Cristiano Ronaldo moving forward, the future and 2023, thinking to themselves, can we keep going? Because we've been winning, of course, consecutively, but we've been winning against, you know, with all due respect, not necessarily giants of certain, uh, you know, uh, positions. They haven't been fantastic victories against, you know, overwhelming opponents. And today was against the biggest one, definitely from a personal standpoint. And that was the biggest question. Can they make it happen? What a ridiculous turnover. Let's bring in, though, let's bring in Craig Burley, because I do have a question straight away regarding this victory. Craig, welcome to the show, my friend. LME K. Murray here. Give me your initial reaction to this win. Here's the big one. Can Manchester United now be considered as a title contender? Absolutely. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt. The run they're on, uh, the performance, the turnaround, the goal-scoring form of Marcus Rashford, uh, the decision-making of Eric Ten Hag, you know, the selection. So, yeah, I mean, they were outplayed for long periods in this game, particularly in the second half, and that's why it is such a surprise. But at the end of the day, City imploded again. United got the job done. And uh, they're on a crest of a wave. So, yeah, they. I don't see any reason why in that dressing room you're not talking about being in the, in the title race. Wow. Craig, talk to us about that first goal for United, then the equalising goal. Do you think it should have stood? <sighs> Do you know, well, the referee, the assistant and VAR thought so. I mean, you have to ask, ask the question, does... Uh, Marcus Rashford interfered at all. He's offside, we know that, but does he, he doesn't touch the ball, but does he interfere with any of the City defenders? Does he stop them from getting to the ball? And I'm not sure he does. So from that perspective, I think by the letter of the law, uh, the goal is good, as frustrating as it is. Uh, Bruno Fernandes was miles onside. Uh, it is a new law, well, not new, but new-ish law. And... It's frustrating, but I think by the letter of the law, it, it was okay. Yeah, it was okay, but I just have to jump in here because I hate to disagree with the wonderful Craig Burley, but I, I, I just think it was ridiculous because the ultimate title of this law is, is the player interfering with play? You can add whatever color you want, whatever context you want. Is he interfering with play? And to me, and Craig is right, by the letter of the law, that's why the referee and the linesman had a conversation, and that's why eventually it was given. But to me, right, when you look overall at the headline, interfering with play, that's exactly what Marcus Rashford was doing because the defender reacted to the interference. The goalkeeper reacted to the interference. Whether he touched the ball or not is not really an argument. He was definitely interfering with play. And ultimately, Kay, that's exactly what it was out. But, hey, Manchester United took full advantage and won nothing. Won all. Craig, Craig, do you want to respond to that? Well, I, I'd like, I mean, it's one of those you'd have to look at several times because the reason for that is the, look, we can't argue about Bruno Fernandes. No. The, the question is, does Marcus Rashford impede Walker or Akanji from being able to make a challenge? And if the answer to that is no, then then they won't deem it as interfering. So I, I don't know. I'll... You know, as the day goes on, I'm sure we're going to see it uh, a few times. But yeah, frustrating. But VR thought so, thought so as well. Uh, let's just say we did try and get in touch with our um, Dale Johnson, but he is otherwise engaged today. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll leave, leave it as that, Kay. We'll leave it at that, right? Yeah, we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Mark Ogden's here as well, so we're going to bring him in. He's been at the game for us. He's found himself a little link. Hello, Mark. So give us your initial reaction to what we've seen there and what the atmosphere has been like after Manchester United won this. Yeah, the atmosphere. You can still hear it now because we've got the City fans in that and a lot of the United fans are starting going home. So uh, the atmosphere is... Uh, Quite lively. It was a great game. It was a, a classic derby. You know, United went behind, and it looked like they, you know, missed their chances to score. But you know, the, the equaliser to this sort of guy's talking about. You know, watching it, you're thinking, 
Fernandez wasn't on side, as you know, but Rashford was clearly on side. Now, it's, it, it's one of those, isn't it? If you're on the attacking side, you're saying that he's not interfering with play, he didn't touch the ball. If you're on Man City, you're saying he was interfering with play because he was right in the line of sight of the defender, the goalkeeper. But, you know, as far as I, we were aware, VAR didn't even get involved. You know, sure, Atlas went to the uh, assistant referee, spoke about it, and he gave the decision. We didn't even get told of a VAR review. You, you guys might know better than the television end of it, but in the ground, we, we had no kind of suggestion of a VAR review. So the referee spoke to the assistant, he said, look, Fernandez was on side, but he didn't touch, Rashford didn't touch the ball. So, so there you go. It's, uh, nobody's v- ever going to agree on that. Depends which side of the bench one. I, I think, okay, v, v, VAR, VAR will check every goal. You know, regardless. Yeah. So and, yeah, and they would, and they will advise either yes or no whether they should. Yeah. Be, well, you know, I yeah. think what, what generally happens is certainly before Hammond Webb arrived, the the stadium you would get a message in the stadium saying VAR review offside or there was none of that, nothing on the screen. So if the review did take place, we weren't aware of it. So you know, if the referee and the assistant did decide between themselves, fine. Um, but like I say, nobody's ever going to agree on that. It depends which side of the fence you're sitting on. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.